Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a vocoder in Reason 4. To start off, we're going to create a mixer, and then we are going to create an NNXT advanced sampler. We use this as our modulating signal in vocoding, so you can load in your samples and using the NNXT as this demonstration, but you can choose anything else to load in your samples. First of all, we start off by initializing our patch, and then we load in our sample. I'm choosing a vocal acapella for this one. Mm. Now, to make sure that your sample is in the NNXT, we're going to play any key on the keyboard to make sure that it's going to play. Sometimes I feel like throwing my hands up in the air. Now that we've used that, we go on to creating our carrier signal. Now, for creating our carrier signal, I'm going to use a Maelstrom. I'm going to have a patch that is going to be very, very long and sustained. So I'm going to use a string section. I'm going to use a string machine. Now, as a carrier signal, you generally want something that's long and sustained, or that has a very, very fast attack. So, just as you can hear. It's very, very long and sustained, and it's pr pretty good for what we right need right now. Next of all, we are going to create a digital vocoder, which is the BV512. Now, once we have this up, we switch to the back using tab. Now, our carrier signal, which is our maelstrom, is connected directly into our carrier input, which is right here on the vocoder. As you notice, there's nothing in our modulating signal just yet, but our output is going straight up to our mixer. But our modulator is going into the mixer as well, which we don't want. We want this going into our vocoder right here. So, we disconnect this, and bring the left signal into our input on our modulator. Now, once we have that, we can switch around, go onto our sequencer page. Now, we draw on our little box. Now, I'm using C3 for this one. So I draw in about eight bars, and make sure that's at the beginning. Now, I hit play. Now I go over here to our vocoder, and as you can see, it's reading the modulation levels, but we can't hear anything just yet. We use our dry-wet function here, which kind of acts as a mix function. So the further you bring this back, the more you'll actually hear your original signal come into the mix. So, I'm going to leave this one out for the time being. Switch back onto our sequencer page here. I'm going to click Maelstrom. Just going to stop this for a moment. Oops. Now, once we have this done, we switch back. Now, once we have our carrier signal selected, and we actually play our main modulation signal, we can use any key on the keyboard to control what pitch you want to use, if you want to use chords, if you want to just use mono notes, it's all up to you. Now, if you want to use chords though, make sure your patch is in polyphonic. Otherwise, you're just going to hit one note and you think you're going to hit a chord. But anyway, to show you now, I'm going to just play a few chords over this vocal acapella and show you how the vocoder will work. Now, as you can hear with the long sustain, it's perfect for what we need. <coughs> now, and for record, if you want to record such a thing, you as normal, you would just hit record ready enable, and you'll hit record down here. And you play your notes in as you would usually. So we just hit record, and away we go. And that's it. 
That is how you use the vocoder in Reason 4. Thanks for watching.